what well, it's good people 20 from sister graphics welcome to my channel today we are going to be creating this wine poster so if you need the exercise file for this tutorial simply make use of the link in the description section of this video so keep watching all right so i'm going to start by dragging my rock background image in like so and i'm going to drag the wine and then i'm going to scale that down then i'm going to hold on control and click on the thumbnail of the wine layer so as to create a marquee of it and i'll go to select i'll click modify and i'm going to hit the expand option here so i'm going to make my expand um, eight pixels and I'm gonna select the OK button so now I'm going to zoom in so what I want to do now is to make it look like part of the rock is overlapping on the wine bottle so I'm gonna select the lasso to here and I'm going to hold down alt and randomly take this out like so you know what let's just make this go in more like so so uh in order for you to enjoy this i would advise to get yourself a graphics tablet but if you don't have a graphics tablet you can still achieve the um move all right so i'm just going to move this here like so So what I'm going to do is to click on the layer mask icon. Okay, so as you can see now, it looks as if our bottle is hidden inside the rock. So I'm going to create um, a new layer. And I'm going to call this shadow. Okay, and I'll hold on alt and drag the layer mask of the wine bottle and apply it to the shadow. All right, like so. So I just duplicated the layer mask of the uh wine bottle now and i'm going to um select the thumbnail of the shadow layer and i'm going to select the brush tool and i'll increase my brush size go to my brush settings and make sure transfer is checked now this is because i have a graphics tablet here so if you don't have a graphics tablet you can turn down your flow to 12 or 13 and you're still going to achieve the same uh move okay so i'm going to go to my um foreground color picker here and change this to black all right and i'm going to hit the ok button so i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to scale down my brush okay and i'm going to gently apply uh, the brush to uh, the project like so so i'm going to apply it here I'm going to add this part to the selection so I'm going to apply the color of my background to the layer mask of the wine layer by holding down control and backspace to cut it out from um, the selection and for this side I'm going to select the brush to I'm just going to gently apply this here like so it's the razor tool because I think I over applied it so I'm just going to take it out from here so I'm using the eraser tool all right to do this I'll take this out from here like so and I think this is um, okay for now I think I need to add more um, shadow to this part so I'm going to select the layer the shadow layer and I'm going to apply more shadow to the side of 
my project like so. I'm going to add curve adjustment and make this brighter. And I'm going to hit the control I on my keyboard to reverse the mask of the curve adjustment. I'm still going to be on my brush too. And make sure that your foreground is set to white. So I'm going to reduce the size of my brush. And I'm going to gently apply that here because I want this side of the project to be um, brighter. Like so. I'll do the same thing here. And I'm going to gently apply the brush to this side of the project. I'm scale my brush down and gently apply it again. Scale it down, apply it again. So next I'm going to hit the brightness here. And I'm going to increase that also. And hit Ctrl I on my keyboard to reverse the mask. And make sure your foreground is set to white. And make sure that you are on the layer mask of the brightness when you're applying your brush like so okay and I'm going to apply that gently here apply, I'm going to reduce my brush size and I'm going to gently apply that here so then I'm going to create a new layer and call this light alright and I'm going to hold on alt and sample a color from this side and gently apply the brush to this side of my project like so so I'm going to do that here that here here like so and here like so right you can even um, go a bit further by reducing the brush size and just gently apply it here not too much all right and i'm going to blend it this so i'm going to double click on the light layer to bring out the layer style and i'm going to move from this side and move from this side here because i don't want this to, uh, to touch the shadow part of my project i'm going to hold on all to break the slider and this needs to go to this side and this needs to go here like so and I'm going to push this here like so I'm going to select the OK button and this is what we have alright so I'm going to select the brush tool and just add more brush to the project by increasing my brush size like so and I'm just going to gently apply it here apply here here like so I'm going to make a copy of the background all right then I'm going to call this depth okay and I'm going to hold on alt and drag the layer mask of the bottle and drop it on the depth layer and I'm going to hide this layer and make sure that you are on the thumbnail of the layer before hitting the free transform so I'm going to hit ctrl T on my keyboard to activate my free transform and scale this down and look at what we are achieving here so this is the purpose of making all these movers and I'm going to reduce the opacity of this a bit um, we can even make the light travel more so I'm going to increase my brush size and just travel make it travel a bit so okay so this is beautiful all right then I'm going to add a curve adjustment and just dial this down like so go down alright and I'm going to hit control I on my keyboard because what we're about to do now is to create vignette alright so the whole idea of adding vignette is to you know make attention be on our subject here so I'm going to gently apply that here like so I'm just going to gently apply it here okay you know what let's just add more drama here I'm going to scale this down, just put this here like so, do the same thing here. And we are done.
i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button click the notification bell so you get notified when i post my videos share like and comment on this video and if you have any message for me drop it in the comment section of this video i'll see you again in the next one peace